Okay, so in this episode we are going to talk about another great feature uh, in Sage and actually in Blade uh, which is called components and as you will see components in Blade are very similar to components in Vue uh, they have slots, you can pass data to them and so on so it's something similar to includes that we did in the previous episode but uh, they're like includes on steroids, something like that right? so let's uh, dig into it Okay, so I created the model on my site and when you click on it, it opens a model, you can uh, close it and in the code it looks something like this. Uh, so uh, this is the HTML of that model, so this is a dialog. Uh, and then if we go to main.js, as I said, I'm not using jQuery uh, and this is the setup uh, for most of my project when using vanilla JavaScript. Uh, you can check it out in the cards. I have an episode on organizing JavaScript this way. So if this doesn't make any sense to you, please check out that episode. And of course, then I have this model.js, which is just uh, is looking for a button to open a model. Uh, it reads the data in it and then opens the dialog and closes that dialog. And that's about it. It's nothing too complicated. And we are not going to go into it in this episode because this episode is actually about components I just wanted to show you how this works and also of course this is going to be on github so if you want to use something like this uh, you can uh, just download that code uh, I put the CSS for the model in globals global.scss I just didn't want to make a new file for it and this is the CSS for that model right so let's close this because we don't need it and let's just check it out again so this is our model it works great so the way the, that this model works is we have this js model trigger uh, the J javascript is going to look for that class and then you have this data model and you add the id of that model right here so as you can see this model right here is uh, has an id of model 01 so if i want to add another model I can just copy this out, paste it right here, say model 2, copy this dialog and uh, give it an ID of 2 and then just write something in it, right? So if I save this, go to my page, you need to refresh it and then if I click open model, this opens the model 2 and this one opens the model one. Okay, so now as you can see, uh, we have a lot of code right here. So we have this model, this model, we have those buttons. So there is a better way to handle this using components. And I'm going to show you that right now. Now I'm just going to delete this model two because I don't need it. And actually I don't even need model one right here. I'm just going to cut it out and now I'm going to create a component which is going to be called model. And to do that, you just go to views. And as you already can see, I have this components folder right here. And now in that components folder, I'm going to create a new file and call it model.blade. So model.blade.php. Okay, so now I have model blade PHP and I'm just going to paste this model in here. Uh, okay, we save it. Let me make this bigger. Now, as you can see, we of course need an ID. Uh, we need uh, this text right here. We need this model body. Uh, what's great about components is they act pretty similar to include. So what I can do right here is I'm just going to create a new component, actually call a component, and you do that by doing component, component, and then the component that you wanna call. So our component, just like in includes, we go from the view folder. So it's in components, components.model, right? And you have to end it with end component. Okay, so now we have this component right here. Now we need to pass some data to it because we need to define the ID of that model. 
So just like in the includes, you can just do something like this. You open up an array, you say ID, ID is equal to, and the ID is going to be model one, model uh, zero one, right? And uh, save this so that it's the same name like this one here. We go to our model.blade.php uh, and instead of ID model, we just do ID. Uh, did we call it ID? Yes. So we just do ID, save this, go to our browser, refresh it. And as you can see, this actually does not work uh, because we have some errors in our JavaScript. And this is just because uh, this other button right here, because when that JavaScript uh, script finds that button, uh, it's going to look for the model. And since we don't have another model on our page, uh, it's not going to find anything. So it's going to cause us trouble. So remove that button, save this. Now go to our browser, refresh it. And as you can see now, everything is okay. Click open model. Uh, this is the model header. This is the model body. Our model works. Of course, the trouble with models and one of the reasons we are not in, uh, using includes right here is because uh, it's okay if you have a model like this and you always know that you're going to have a title and the model body is just going to be some text. That's okay, but sometimes uh, th those models can have very complicated uh, elements in it. Uh, it can be a pretty complicated layout in that model. So you don't wanna use includes for that because you don't wanna send all that HTML through uh, these variables right here. So you can of course add the title right here if you wanna just use the title but there is something else you can do. So uh, let's say for the body, uh, we want to have uh, different texts, bodies and so on in our model. So what you can do is you can just go to the model blade. So in our model body, instead of using uh, this model body, we are just going to say slot. So this is very similar to view uh, because view also uses slots. So if I save this, go to my index.blade.php, you can just do something like this. Right, this is a text that is going to go in the slot. Save this, uh, go to our browser, refresh it, and when you open it up, you get this. So as you can imagine, Instead of just doing text right here, you can add a div, you can add h tags, you can add whatever HTML you want right here if you have some complicated layout in that model. But also, uh, you can do the same for the title. Uh, although in this case, it would probably be better just to send the title uh, through this array right here, but you can add multiple slots uh, to your components. So you can do something like this right here. This is going to be a title, title, and uh, you can just go to your component and say slot title, and you go end slot right here, right, and save this, go to our browser, Right, so this is the title of our model. This is the text that, that goes into slot. So as you can see, uh, if you don't write this slot and then the name of the slot, uh, this right here is automatically going to go to this. So you don't have to define it, right? So this is the way you would use components. As you can see, they are pretty powerful. Of course, you can do now something like this. Uh, this is going to be model two. You copy this out. You want to send the ID of model two right here and this and add something like this right here. Save this. And now you have two models. Uh, it doesn't work just yet, right? You have to refresh it. 
Now this is an, our, another model, this is our first model. Great, so as you can see, much less code and you have much more flexibility in it. So this is the Laravel blade documentation. Of course, you're going to read all of it uh, because most of the things in these documentations are actually applicable to our Sage theme. Now this is components and slots and if we go down here you can see that we have an interesting option called aliasing components. Now you can't do it this way uh, in Sage but you can do it a little bit differently. So uh, you can go to your code editor, go to app and setup and at the end of the setup file you have this function after setup theme and there are some sage uh, sage directives defined right here one of those directives uh, i created here and commented out so what does what this says is sage blade compiler component so we want to alias our components that model right to be modal and what this does, if I save this, I can just go right here uh, in our index.blade.php and instead of component right here, I can just write model. And then end model. And then I don't need this because Blade already knows what I'm referring to. And now uh, this is pretty obvious that this is actually a model for your page. Now if I save this, go to my browser, refresh it, click open model, as you can see everything works. Of course you can also call it this way right here but i think this is much better the only thing i don't like it is i'm not getting any code highlights for this so maybe this can be amended in some way but i don't actually know uh, how just yet okay so this is it for this episode in the next episode we are going to be uh, talking about controllers and i'm really looking forward to that because as you will see controllers are pretty great uh, anyway, uh, remember everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub, uh, the link will be in the description below, and as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.